Hello, my name is Jesse Anderson. I'm a graduate student here at Michigan Tech. I am currently working on my PhD in atmospheric science. Um, my research uh, is focused on measurements out of the Michigan Tech Pi Chamber. Uh, the Pi Chamber is uh, designed to be able to study some of the small um, scale processes within clouds. Um, these small scale processes range from a few meters down to the size of a cloud droplet. Now you can imagine um, out in the atmosphere, it might be very difficult to be able to um, get consistent uh, repeatable results from real atmospheric clouds, um, which is why we built the chamber. Um, now, to be specific, my uh, research involves turbulent fluctuations in water vapor, temperature, and humidity. Um, this is important because the um, in the atmosphere, we see large um, ranges of cloud droplet sizes. Now, one of the things that controls what size cloud droplets are is the relative humidity. Uh, you can imagine if a high, if we have a high humidity, cloud droplets are um, likely to grow. And if we have a low humidity, uh, cloud droplets won't grow as fast or they might even uh, evaporate. Uh, so when we have fluctuations um, due to turbulence, uh, we can imagine certain number of the droplets in a cloud see a high humidity and they grow to large sizes. Uh, certain ones don't see as high of the humidity and they either remain the same size, grow slightly or start to evaporate. The broad cloud droplet size distributions um, are important because they allow collisions between droplets. Um, and when you start having collisions between droplets, they stick together and eventually you can start to form precipitation. Thank you for your time. Thank you.